Thank you, John. To a developing story, a now former police officer who used to be a school administrator is behind bars, accused of being a sexual predator. 44-year-old Todd Baraka was taken into custody today by Ghost, the Genesee County team that focuses on human trafficking. TV5's Kendall Keyes looks into his background. We were in Mount Morris, Goodrich. We did Grand Blanc, we did Davison. We did another Goodrich location. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson collaborating with Chris Hansen, best known for To Catch a Predator, to close out a four month investigation. We arrested 13 people just in those locations coming to have sex with a child. Among the 13 taken into custody, 44 year old Todd Baracco. Until this morning, he was a part time Vassar police officer. He was there for a child and it was unmistakable from the chats and the phone calls and everything that went into it. Sheriff Swanson says Baracco planned to meet up with a 15 year old girl for sex. Your guys went out That's to right. his vehicle, found three guns and handcuffs. But it was Baracco who ended up in handcuffs, charged with three counts that, if convicted, could land him behind bars for 44 years. Sheriff Swanson detailed Baracco's employment history, an administrator and educator in mid Michigan for years before becoming a police officer. 2014, he left the Imlay City Schools as the Dean of Students. In 2015, he left as the assistant principal of Westwood High School. The list continues and includes his resignation from his position as principal for Merrill Community Middle and High Schools. We had the story from 2016 in the TV5 archives. The question that remained unanswered, why? If things that I've heard are true, he shouldn't be in the school. Our attorney advises us to, and I, I think because it's a personnel issue, I think it's uh, um, for the privacy of both parties that it's just better not to discuss it. Now, Sheriff Swanson hopes Baracco's arrest brings closure to anyone who may have also been victimized by Baracco and encourages them to come forward. Perhaps other victims can see the picture, come forward, feel like they have a voice. They know that maybe somebody like this who has never been caught has been held accountable. Baracco is jailed in Genesee County. For WNEM-TV5, I'm Kendall Keyes.